Look up at the night sky. It's a canvas of twinkling lights, each one a distant sun, a beacon of light traveling across the vast expanse of space to reach our eyes. Every star you see is a sun, likely with its own planets orbiting around it. These planets, known as exoplanets, could be home to environments vastly different from our own, or perhaps surprisingly similar. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, holds hundreds of billions of stars, each one a potential solar system, a potential cradle for life. The sheer number of stars boggles the mind, each one a possibility, a story waiting to be told. Now consider this. There are billions upon billions of galaxies in the observable universe. Each galaxy, like our Milky Way, is teeming with stars and planets. The numbers are so vast they almost lose meaning. The sheer scale is almost impossible to grasp. It's a cosmic ocean, with each galaxy a tiny island in an endless sea. The distances are so immense they challenge our understanding of space and time. The universe is vast, ancient, and filled with an unfathomable number of stars and planets. It's been expanding for billions of years, creating a tapestry of celestial wonders that stretches beyond our imagination. Given this immensity, it's hard to imagine that we are alone. The sheer number of stars and planets suggests that life in some form must exist elsewhere. The universe is too vast, too full of possibilities for us to be the only ones. The thought that life could exist elsewhere perhaps in forms we can't yet comprehend is both exhilarating and humbling. It challenges our understanding of biology, of what it means to be alive. Our search for extraterrestrial life is a search for ourselves, a quest to understand our place in the grand cosmic scheme. It's a journey that takes us to the farthest reaches of space and deep into the mysteries of our own existence. It's a journey driven by curiosity, by the innate human desire to explore the unknown and unravel the mysteries that surround us. This quest has led us to develop new technologies, to push the boundaries of what we know and what we can achieve. And as we delve deeper into the cosmos, we find tantalizing clues that suggest we might not be alone. From the discovery of potentially habitable exoplanets to the detection of mysterious signals, each finding brings us one step closer to answering the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? Our achievements in space exploration are a testament to human ingenuity and determination. Future missions aim to explore even further, to seek out new worlds and new civilizations, to boldly go where no one has gone before. As we continue this journey, we are reminded of our place in the cosmos. We are part of a vast, interconnected universe, a small but significant piece of a grand puzzle. The search for extraterrestrial life is not just about finding others, it's about understanding ourselves and our place in the universe. The building blocks of life, organic molecules, are found not just on Earth, but throughout the universe. They've been discovered in interstellar gas clouds, on comets, and even in meteorites that have fallen to Earth. These cosmic wanderers carry the potential for life to seed new worlds, spreading like dandelion seeds on the cosmic wind. It suggests that the ingredients for life are not unique to Earth, but are scattered throughout the vast cosmic kitchen. Given the right conditions, these ingredients could combine and spark into life on countless worlds. In 1961, astronomer Frank Drake developed an equation to estimate the number of detectable civilizations in our galaxy. This groundbreaking formula, known as the Drake Equation, has since become a cornerstone in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. It was a bold attempt to quantify the unknown and to bring a scientific approach to a question that has fascinated humanity for centuries. Are we alone in the universe? The Drake Equation, as it's known, takes into account several critical factors. One of the primary factors is the rate of star formation in our galaxy. Stars are the birthplaces of planets, and understanding how frequently new stars are born helps us estimate how many potential homes for life might exist. Another crucial element is the fraction of those stars that have planetary systems. Not all stars have planets, but many do. Recent advancements in astronomy have revealed that planets are more common than we once thought, with many stars hosting multiple planets. Among these planets, the next factor to consider is the number that could potentially support life. This involves looking at planets that are in the habitable zone, where conditions might be just right for liquid water, a key ingredient for life as we know it, 
to exist. While the equation involves a lot of unknowns, it provides a framework for thinking about the probability of extraterrestrial life. Each variable in the equation represents a step in the complex process that could lead to the emergence of intelligent civilizations capable of communication. Even if we plug in conservative estimates for each variable, the Drake equation suggests that there could be a significant number of civilizations out there. These estimates are based on our current understanding of the universe, which is constantly evolving as we make new discoveries. The sheer number of stars and planets, combined with the widespread presence of life's building blocks, makes the idea of us being alone seem increasingly unlikely. As we continue to explore the cosmos, the Drake equation remains a guiding light reminding us of the vast possibilities that lie beyond our own planet. It encourages us to keep searching, to keep asking questions, and to never stop wondering about the mysteries of the universe. If the universe is teeming with potential for life, why haven't we encountered any other civilizations yet? This is the heart of the Fermi paradox, named after physicist Enrico Fermi. It highlights the apparent contradiction between the high probability of extraterrestrial life and the lack of evidence for it. There are several possible explanations for this paradox. Perhaps interstellar travel is far more difficult than we imagine, or civilizations tend to destroy themselves before reaching a point where they can contact other worlds. Or maybe, just maybe, they are out there hiding in plain sight, waiting for us to catch up. The silence isn't empty, it's whispering. While we haven't found definitive proof of extraterrestrial life yet, there have been some intriguing signals. Astronomers have detected mysterious radio bursts from deep space, some of which repeat in patterns that seem unlikely to be natural. These fast radio bursts, or FRBs, have sparked intense curiosity among scientists. Could they be signs of advanced alien technology? Or are they simply unusual astrophysical phenomena that we're just beginning to understand? The search for answers is ongoing and each new discovery pushes us closer to unraveling the mysteries of the universe. Water, the lifeblood of our planet, is surprisingly common in the cosmos. We found evidence of water ice on the moon, on Mars, and on the moons of Jupiter and Saturn. These celestial bodies, once considered barren wastelands, now appear to harbor vast reserves of water, potentially in liquid form beneath their icy surfaces. The presence of liquid water greatly increases the chances of finding microbial life or even more complex organisms in our own solar system. Here on Earth, we've discovered life forms that thrive in conditions once thought impossible. These extremophiles can survive in extreme heat, cold, acidity, and even in the vacuum of space. Their existence expands our understanding of what life can endure and suggests that life might find a foothold in environments we once considered uninhabitable. If life can thrive in the harshest environments on Earth, it's plausible that it could exist in similarly extreme environments on other planets and moons. The ingredients for life, a universal recipe, the elements that make up life on Earth, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, are abundant throughout the universe. These elements are forged in the hearts of stars and scattered across the cosmos when stars explode as supernovas. This cosmic recycling process ensures that the ingredients for life are readily available throughout the universe. It's as if the universe itself is constantly cooking up the potential for life on a grand scale. The universe is a vast and mysterious place full of wonder and endless possibilities. While we haven't found definitive proof of extraterrestrial life yet, the evidence suggests that we are not alone. The sheer scale of the cosmos, the abundance of life's building blocks, and the discovery of extremophiles on Earth all point towards a universe teeming with potential for life. Our search for extraterrestrial life is a journey of exploration and discovery, driven by our innate curiosity and our desire to understand our place in the grand cosmic scheme. The possibility of extraterrestrial life challenges us to broaden our perspective and reconsider our place in the universe. It pushes the boundaries of our imagination and compels us to ask fundamental questions about existence, consciousness, and the nature of life itself. It reminds us that we are part of something much larger than ourselves, a cosmic tapestry woven from stardust and shaped by the forces of nature. Each star, each planet, and each galaxy 
is a thread in this vast, intricate fabric. And we too are threads, connected to the cosmos in ways we are only beginning to understand. The quest to understand the universe is, in many ways, a quest to understand ourselves, to grasp the essence of what it means to be alive, to be conscious, and to be part of this grand cosmic symphony.